This is your Daily Dose with Dr. D. Here's Dr. Daniela Schreier. Hey there and welcome back. I'm Dr. Daniela and you're here to get your Daily Dose. Let's address the mistrial in the Jody Arias case today. Thanks for all your tweets in that regards. Here is my opinion in a nutshell. Number one, I was very disappointed because I think it is a huge waste of the Arizona taxpayers' money. This trial was going on for over five months. It got major attention in the courts and in the media. Number two, while I was working in jail, I saw many people coming in with a similar charge. That means at the end of the day, a first degree murder charge. Some of the women and men that I saw come in and committed, committed a crime in the heat of passion. They walked in on a lover um, in their bedroom with someone else. Unexcusable murder never goes well. Other women had actually a long-standing abuse history and still most of them just got a regular pub a public defender who didn't have much time at his or her hand and what happened, generally the women had to agree to a plea bargain or just went away downstate for a very, very long time. Next point, um, why did the jury not come to an agreement? I think actually we had eight people for death penalty and we had four uh, uh, people against death penalty. On a personal level, I'm against death penalty even when the defendant meets all of the criteria. I understand people have different outlooks and I embrace that. That is just mine. Now, we have a person who has been found guilty of first degree murder now come as jury to a conclusion. I think there's always a middle ground. I understand many people want a death, but why could we not agree on life in prison? Now four, you might tell me, well, why should they? Well, I think we are in a democracy and we need to find the smallest common denominator. And that would be potentially life in prison. But then the jury would have to give away some power. And why do I say that? Because then Judge Stevens would make the ultimate call. Will it be worth or without parole. The important thing in my opinion is that this trial needs to go away. There needs to be a judgment soon and quickly so we all can actually move on with our lives. In particular the uh, Travis Alexander family, also the Arias family to some degree because nobody gives birth to a child wishing that that child will be viciously murdered or that their own child becomes a cruel murderer. So thanks for being with me. I'm Dr. Daniela, and this was your Daily Dose. Thank you. Bye-bye. This has been your Daily Dose with Dr. D. For more, go to drdaniela.com. That's drdaniela.com.